You want to learn how to add yellow subtitle font to your videos, or maybe you're looking for a yellow subtitle font generator, this video is for you. We're going to be using Chopcast to basically take whatever video you have in mind and automatically add these yellow subtitles to it. So no need for a longer introduction. Let's jump right in. First of all, the first thing you need to do is just create a Chopcast account and upload your video. So once your video is uploaded and you just open it up like so, you'll find that the subtitles are already auto-generated for you. So that's one less headache you have to worry about. The next thing you need to figure out is whether you want to subtitle the entire video or just a specific section. And this is what's cool about this process. You could basically select the specific section that you want to add yellow subtitles to. After that, you want to navigate to the subtitle tab over here and you want to do a couple of things. The first thing is to just remove the background color and then to open up the font color menu over here or the color selector and just navigate over to the hex code selector and you want to add this specific code. So that's FCB E 11. This is just based on like some research that we've done on like the most popular um, shades of yellow for these, uh, for the yellow subtitle font that you see like on, you know, the Simpsons and all these kind of like iconic um, TV shows that you might be thinking of. And as you can see right away, it would apply the font like this and you can just preview the clip to see what it looks like. Um, you have two choices as well. Like you could decide if actually you have a couple more choices, but basically you could decide if you want to bolden or you could also make it like an italics depending on the look that you're going after. And once you're happy with that, just read through the auto subtitles to make sure that you're happy with it. And once again, like you could basically like edit anything that you want to fix or just play around with the specific start time and end time. And basically once you're happy with the clip, you can just go to next and export. So. It's really as simple as that. You could basically repeat this process for as many clips within that same video or just entire videos in general. So let me know how you get on and I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.